Hey guys, and CS Fan 001 here, part 7 of Let's Play Resident Evil 4. Last time we fought the Del Lago without getting hit, because as I've said before, he is a fairly easy boss. But there's actually something that we can do real quick. Uh, what we can do is, you can now see this part of the lake was blocked off if you had looked at the map. But, there is now something that we can do here, and we are going to head over there now to see what we can do. I see blue lights, so I'm assuming that means that Mr. Merchant Man will be here. Another blue light. Mr. Merchant Man, good to see you, my friend. I, uh, even though I'm, I don't want to do this, but I'm getting really annoyed by the lack of space, so I'm going to go ahead and break down and buy the next attache case. And unfortunately, that's technically going to cost me a little bit of money because I wanted to just save up for the large case. Ooh, we definitely want that, definitely. Thank you. Man. You see, he has all of these guns just sitting here. I'm the only person that's ever going to walk around in this area, yet he can't even give me one. Well, that's a bolt-action rifle, and I don't really need that. This is the Chicago typewriter. It's a special weapon. That is a Red 9. That's a later weapon. The Tump, that's a Tump. I don't even know what that is. I'm assuming that might be the PRL-412, but I'm not exactly sure because... Even though I've beaten the game on Professional, as you guys have seen, I have i haven't started up a new game plus to get the PRL yet. That's sort of what it looks like, though. But now we have a little more room, and I think it'll end up serving me well. Now I won't have to leave stuff behind, hopefully. So before we leave... And actually, I'm curious for anyone who's played through this game before. Uh, will somebody tell me what happens if you kill the Merchant Man? From what I've heard, I think he just becomes unavailable at that spot. But I'm not exactly sure what happens, and I'm kind of curious to find out, but not in the Let's Play. The green gem, we... Actually, we can go ahead and use that, because that is a thing for the elegant mask. So let's go ahead and use it, shall we? Oh yeah, we can sell both of those too, actually. So I might as well go ahead and uh, sell them to Mr. Merchant in just a second. Let's jump down into this wall and steal that. Oh, baby rocket launcher. What are you buying? Uh, no, actually, I want to sell, Mr. Merchant. I will sell the antique pipe. It is a unique treasure. The gold bangle with pearls is also a unique treasure. Uh, both of those we obviously do not want to sell yet because we can make money off of them. Now, here's just like the most jerkish thing ever in this game. This guy has handgun ammo, is what it looks like, all stashed up right there. That looks like a lot of it, too. Yet he never sells you ammunition at any point in the game. Not even for the mine thrower. So yeah, that jerk never sells you ammunition. Then again, you can't buy ammunition from the uh, store in Resident Evil 5, either. Unless, well, you can, but it's for the grenade launcher is the only time, and there's no grenade launcher in this game. Spoiler. I mean, there's things similar to it, though. There's the crossbow in separate ways is kind of similar to it, but... Okay, so now that we've finished up that objective, we are going to take Mr. Leon and begin moving out. We're going to have a little section coming up here that we need to do that's fairly simple. Oh, wait, we've got a, the introduction of a new enemy here. These guys, I call them Plogus Heads. I don't think that's their official name, but I just call them Plogus Heads. They are harder to kill because... They will appear usually later on in the game more, and they will also appear a lot more commonly on Professional. And don't expect to get 5,000 Pestas every time you kill one later in the game. You certainly won't be getting that much. If you were, the game would be being way too nice. But whenever you have a Plogus Head guy, 
you'll kill them and then their head will pop off, and this guy usually turns into a Plagueis on Professional. So it makes them tougher to kill. Takes a few extra bullets. So yeah, that's the Plagueis head for you, but he was taken out quite easily by the Punisher. And I believe actually there's a barrel over here we can break. Yes, there is. Is there anything in it? Ooh, a hand grenade. Glad I checked. Oh crap, I missed the flash grenade back there. Oh well. I'm too lazy to go back for one flash grenade. Even though it would be kind of helpful later in the game. It's less helpful on normal than it is on professional. So yeah, I broke down and bought the medium attache case. I don't care if anyone yells at me for it because... You can yell at me all you want, but I just, I know I wasted money on it, but I would rather just go ahead and have it. Besides, I'll probably do the shooting ranges anyway, at least a couple of them. Oh, come on, now that's not even really fair now, is it? Don't you think that was a little cheap game? He attacked me the second I got up here. I'm okay on health for the moment, though, so I'm not going to use up any. So what you want to do here, shoot that. Now we want to aim here and shoot that. And that, since I had a clear shot at it. Next up, we're going to run over to this spot and get a little bit of slowdown here. Jeez, a lot of stuff going on on screen at once. Yes, this game does tend to slow down when you have a lot of stuff going on. The Amber Ring, that is another unique treasure. Worth quite a bit of money. What do we have up here? Anything of value? Yes, a green herb. I will take that. Gladly. And since we have the ability, let us combine these two herbs. Now you get to see my OCD at work while I try to make the inventory look pretty. There we go. Man, we have a lot of grenades. That's really going to be helpful for the uh, next couple boss fights. I think I might cheap out and use the rocket launcher on... Uh, What's his name? I forgot his name. Crap. The guy that we fight in the barn. I forgot his name. I might use the rocket launcher and cheap out on him, but I'm certainly not going to use it and cheap out for El Gigante because you really don't need it for El Gigante. Sure, it makes the game go faster, but you don't need it. Unless you're like speed running or something, you should. There's no point of it. Okay, we're just going to skip that because it just changes the way the water flows and it allows us to progress. So what we want to do here is use a little trick by jumping back to this. And we're going to use another cheap trick. Something else that I used on Professional. So yes, it's a cheap trick and you won't make as much money off of it, but it certainly saves valuable ammunition and uh, healing items. And by the way, the knife, you can just hold down square to attack with it, or you can just keep tapping it. So yes, cheap tactic, but a good way to save ammunition and healing items. Let's make sure we've done everything here. Yes, we have. So, next up, Leon will go through the tunnels. There's nothing there. Uh, let's see. Keep going, Leon. What could this be? Take the round insignia? Yes, that will get us into the church. I've obtained an object that resembles a cult group's insignia. Wonderful, Leon. Head back to the church. Ashley's safety is our immediate priority. I don't think... Something tells me they're not going to kill her. You know, just a hunch tells me they're not going to kill her. At least not yet. So this actually will give us sort of a... What did I just hit? Did I literally just knife one of the bats? Okay, that was pretty cool. 
But more importantly, let's get into a boat that apparently has spears in it, okay? Why couldn't you give me like a 50 caliber machine gun or better like a Gatling gun, you know? Make it a lot easier for Mr. Leon here. So we're actually gonna stop back off at a merchant and a save point. Got a selection. What are you buying? Anything good, Mr. Merchant? What are you buying? Nope. Don't need that. What are you selling? Is that all? Sell so that. Thank you. Uh, I sell so that and don't sell anything else. So, we're only about 10 or 11 minutes in, so now we're going to do a boss fight! Dun, dun, dun. Some people will buy a rocket launcher. If, they're, if you're doing a speed run of the game, you can buy a rocket launcher to make this fight be over in like a matter of seconds. But we are not trying to do a, uh, oh crap, I don't have any more red herbs. Oh well. That is not our intention, though, and we have quite a few grenades. I'm not going to use up my incendiaries because he's helpful for a different fight. They are helpful for a different fight. So I'm not going to use up my incendiaries. I'm going to use up my hand grenades, but I'm going to keep my incendiaries for later. until we have a clear shot and a nice grenade attack. They'll throw rocks and stuff at you as well. So, once you have done that, this thing will come out of his back. What you want to do now is run up and start knifing. It'll either be square or X, and if you hit the wrong button, you'll end up getting thrown off instantly, and you'll take a lot of damage, I believe. Now, if you freed that dog earlier in the game, he will actually come in and help us out. Hey, what's that dog? Wow, that dog is like awesome if you made that big of a jump. Little doggy is going to help us out in our fight. And now that I... I'm going to combine all of those. See, I'm going to save my incendiaries and probably some of my flash grenades. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and use one of these so I can just get my max health up a little bit more. So now he will go after Mr. Doggy, which is... The dog will actually never die either, which is pretty epic. Hmm, how shall I do this? I think I'll flash him and then shotgun him a couple times. Flash grenades are ultra devastating, though, in the fact that they can really, really save your life really often. Oh, it's Plogus is revealed. Okay. Now, a single rocket launcher attack will actually kill him, as it will with many bosses. But, like I said, we're not that cheap, guys. We don't need to be that cheap. Doggy, please help! Oh crap, he's after me again. I'm probably wasting some of my flash grenades with this. I'll save one, though. Okay, it's not quite revealed yet. I was hoping that would be enough. Please don't hit me. 
Oh, crap. Oh, my God. That was freaking lucky. Holy cow. Oh, man. I think this is the last time we'll have to do this. Come on. Come on. Oh, crap. That wasn't enough. Yes, it was. El Gigante has died. Very, very simple fight. Yes, I used up a lot of ammo fighting him, but he is dead, which is what matters. And, since I used up just the right amount of shotgun ammo, we can go get an upgrade for it. And it will give us free ammunitions. Spinel, shot shells, and money. He usually destroys the buildings, actually. So we got lucky that he didn't destroy them, but then again, I think that actually gives you a little bit more money, but oh well. Can't get everything you want, I suppose. Tump ammo, okay, good to start having that. Spinel and green herb, okay. So, uh, before we, actually I'll go ahead and break this, and then before we end off the video, I will head back down so we can trade with the merchant. Anything else in here that we can take? Nope. So yeah, I'd say that fight went very, very well. I didn't get hit, and I only used up one clip of shotgun ammo that I'll basically be getting back right here with the amount of money that I have. So I'd say that was a very, very successful run of that boss. He's not really that hard of a boss at this point, even at this point in the game, but that was just partially because of the amount of grenades and stuff I had. What are you buying? There we go. Free upgrade. Well, free ammo. By doing that, the shotgun get fully refills its ammo, and we don't end up having to waste any of our precious ammunition. Unfortunately, we've only got three total grenade-styled weapons left, which is kind of bad, but we will overcome. Thank you. So we currently have 89,000 money, and... Hmm, okay. I'm going to reorganize again because I am very OCD. I don't know why, but I am, I am very OCD when it comes to this stuff. I wouldn't say it's a bad thing. It's just almost kind of annoying, to be honest, that I'm OCD-ish. Everything has to be exactly right or it's not good. Let's see how much more... And we'll put grenades in their own little special place over here. So, let's just look at our current inventory real quick. I know this is running a little bit longer. So we've got an additional 117 rounds for the handgun. Uh, an additional... 32 rounds for the shotgun, uh, 25 rifle rounds, and 50 tump rounds. I know when we're going to get the next rifle, though, so that's why I'm not going to buy the bolt action. Some people argue that the bolt action is better because of its exclusive upgrade. I just prefer the semi-auto for its higher rate of fire. So that's good enough for this video, guys. Next time, we will return to the church and find Ashley. So... See you guys then.